Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna see what foal I got. All right, so if you got a foal, so if you got a brand new foal, you guys. I bred one of my paints. She bred a paint. Oh, oh dang it. I love it. What I do you mean, it. dang it? I hate it. Wait, go back. Oh, it's like, I hate what? It. How can you hate that? This is why. This is, it's a Look stallion. What I've been it's used a, to it's a cold. Okay. So this one I don't sell because I leveled her, leveled her up. Whoa, this whoa, guy, where's the baby? I aged him up. You aged him up? This guy I will never sell. I've got this mare. This, which is Rivacano. Rivacano. Right here. Rivacano. This is a paint. Yeah. So I'm used to getting paint. Fiona's paints are all chestnut. And here's the baby. Wow. He's, He's cute. I like him. What do you guys think? He's going to a new home. She sold him. Sold him, you guys. She sold her her, her baby and she aged I... him up. And yesterday I got to see Brandon's uh, oh my God, foal, her Hercules. You guys remember Hercules? I got to see him. He's two now. Oh my gosh. I walked up to him and he buried his head into so me. I'm just like, that's my Chicken. favorite horse. Chicken. So this is for the bearded dragon. Yeah, this that is for the chickens. Sophie and I be going out to check the chickens. You should give them more of All right, let's go. Oh, maybe it's just a chipmunk. I Sophie chipmunk. thinks that the chickens are getting out. No, I just shot a chipmunk. All right. Hey, we're good. We're good. We left them in this area yesterday and they got out. Two of them got out. It was annoying. <laughs> Move out of the way. Yeah, we don't like okay, so that leaked. This was completely full, and now look at it, it's a half empty. Hey, baby. Oh, you better pull her out. Yeah, I guess. Right, oh. Here we are, again in the chicken coop. Good morning, baby chickens. Whoa, whoa. Good morning. She definitely does not know how to get down. Yeah, she, Sophie doesn't think she knows. Oh yeah, she's scared. She's like, how do I do this? There you go. Go down. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> She's like, help, help. Go down. Go down. She's definitely a younger bird. And they were all housed together before we got them. Yeah, just the babies were inside. There you go. Right, welcome to today, you chickens. So today marks the day, the first day of the horses in the middle field. So we're just going to have to be extra careful today. They've pretty much eaten down the first field, or at least what they want of it. Uh, so Sam put them out there. She's got their water bucket out there. Can't even see Gracie. Can you guys spot the Gracie? Spot her. <laughs> they don't even have to put their head down to eat. That's how high it is. All right, only Gracie doesn't have to put her head down. She's like, help, I'm surrounded by grass. So one of the most frustrating things about domesticated horses, I actually don't know if wild horses do the same, but I imagine they could, but why would they? I don't know. Anyways, they pick and choose what they want to eat, you guys know, and there's so much grass still left in the first field, but they only go to the shorter grass that they've already picked down, and they only go there because it's sweeter. So, so I found that they're eating less, they're getting like more sugar and little bits. But so we decided that today is the day that we are going to switch them over and give them the middle field. They're going to get the middle field and then we'll just let the first field grow and recuperate again and then use it for rainy days. Right? Use it for rainy days because they have the shelter. It's amazing like how much I worried in the past about how to change their fields and when to change their fields and how to know what they were getting and like we worried so much up until this year. Like this this is the third year or the fourth year? Third summer or fourth summer? Probably third. Third summer? No, I think it's the fourth summer. We moved here in January. But anyway, I feel like three years is the magic number in life, you guys. I feel like three is the magic number, actually. We have three chickens. Everything happens in threes. Three, it takes three days to change bad habits of constantly trying to do it. Yeah, like three is a lucky number. Anyway, we're mastering it. We're getting it. Like our girls are doing fantastic. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of us. Sam and I are headed to go. What are we doing, Tim? Coffee. Going to get coffee and what else? Doing a drive by. We're doing a drive by, you guys. We've been stepping up our our new farm search. We've been kind of 
trying to figure out where we want to live and like I don't know we wanted to live in one specific area and now we're kind of pushing the limits a little tiny bit so and we were doing a drive-by looking at a house to see if it's something that we it's not even up for sale yet it's just about to come up for sale friend sent it to me so we will see and if we like it we'll let you guys know oh before I put the camera away Sam I want to post the video of the topless girl on the beach. I don't want to post it for like our subscribers because some of you guys are kids and some of you guys won't care. It's a horse channel, but I want to I want to post it for the world, and I want to call it "Topless Girl on the Beach Gets Mobbed" because she got mobbed. Like I watched the video. I took a video just on my phone. I showed it to a few friends of mine. At thinking like, okay, maybe it's just us that are weird. Like the whole beach mobbed her. Like. Some people chased her off and other people stood behind screaming at the top of their lungs and being like absolutely ridiculous. And I showed it to some of my friends and they were like, I can't imagine anybody ever doing that. That is, that is unbelievable. Like I feel like it's unbelievable yet the whole beach mobbed this woman and, and pushed her out of the beach. Like, do you think I should post it? Like if I post it, I don't, it's not like... I just don't want to compromise our channel. I don't want to make our channel about something different than it is. But I feel like it needs to be seen. I think the world needs to see what happens. Like, what do you think, Sam? Which I do. Well, I think I'm going to post it. I don't know how it will work. But I'm going to figure it out. And I'll let you guys know. If you guys see it, it'll just be up on her channel one day. But are you interested in seeing it? Like, this young, beautiful girl confident in herself and her body gets mobbed because she's legally allowed to be topless on a beach yeah that's what happened a soccer term or term? yeah a uh, media mocha ice cap a media mocha ice cap yeah a uh, medium uh, caramel ice cap you know you're getting old when you order a package of donuts plain donuts small donuts just for the dogs Everybody gets a snack when Sam comes to Tim Hortons. Even Molly they gets really it. sad that he didn't bring her. They expect it now. Yeah, they expect it now. When Sam, I'll show you guys. When Sam walks in the door with his little box of Timbits, yeah, it's not the kids that come running anymore. It's the dogs. Okay, so first thing that I see, only one thing, one problem. Like, I want to be really picky, you guys. I told you guys, we're going to be really picky because this is going to be our forever, ever, ever farm. It has an indoor arena, it has an outdoor arena, it has, it has indoor, outdoor. So there's only one thing I don't like about it. I don't love the area, even though it's, I don't love the area, but it's right on a busy road. Right on a busy road. Oh, really? It's off of a busy road. It's off of a busy road, but their field, we're on the busy road right now, and that's the field, you guys. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want our horses out there on a busy road. Even if it's not like a super busy road, I don't want, I want to be in the woods. I want to be in the deep, deep woods where people have to like drive by your house and not even see it kind of thing. So I don't know, it's a no for me. What was it for you? Do I actually look at it all? And the house is really small and that's okay. I get that, like we have a small house right now but I, I, we've never had a small house. This is the first time we've ever had a small house. And I mean, my first house was kind of small. I think this house is smaller than my first house, but I don't want to have a small house. Even though our kids are getting older, I have a lot of grandkids. I, I want a bigger house again. You want a bigger house again? Yeah, so it's a no for me. Is it a no for you? Still on the fence. Still on the fence. Uh, houses in our area that were 400 or 500,000 before are now 800,000 and 900,000. That's how much the, um, it's probably the same everywhere. COVID has like really changed the market in our area. <laughs> Everybody wants coffee, but the dogs want the donuts and they know. Okay, so um, get the dogs theirs first. Oh Whoa, God, savage. A savage. Ruby hates it so gentle. Gentle. <laughs> People are gonna be hating that we did that. Oh, look at Macy over there. 
She's like, what oh. about me? And the sad thing is that he always gives them two each. Make her take it gentle. She's not a wild animal. Gentle. There we go. No more. That's it. That's your limit um, for today. Only on weekends. Okay. So, remember when he told me to let Macy out? I thought I forgot Macy outside, so, because my dog rang the bell. And I was terrified that I forgot Macy outside, and she was not there. So I looked all over, and I was going to look on the front porch to see if she was there. And I looked in the corner thing, and she was there. Oh, I hate Hidden. when that happens. Okay. <laughs> You're done. You're cut off. <laughs> you guys already got older. There's still a couple things. <laughs> You are terrible. You are terrible. Two plain donuts in here. Break it in half. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe be sit. What's the sign language for sit? Put your hand above her. Sit. Sit. Mom. Sit. Oh, girl. That's Molly, you sit. Go. You got one. You're sitting. Sit. Oh, oh, look at poor Macy came. There you go. Poor Macy. Okay. Oh, Mom. Give you a little bit of one. Oh, well. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> like it. Okay, enough. That is enough. That's all the plain oh. donuts. They're all gone. So today is going to be a lot about getting more stuff done around our farm. Stuff that I've been needing to get done, but we've just been doing too much. We'll start back again tomorrow with riding videos and horse stuff um i've decided to try and do a compost box in the past i have loved composting so i have this old um beach box that we used to keep it near our pool and keep all of our floaties and stuff in it and it, it came apart and i was going to throw it out but then i decided to leave the bottom out of it and possibly make it into a composter for my garden also, I have my cucumber plants here that I told you guys about and I want to build like a trellis for them. See that cucumber there? Because they grow into like a vine and cucumbers like to grow up kind of like my beans and my peas. So that's my plan here in the garden plus to water it and then I'll take you guys over to the pool and show you my plans today for that. All right, so Sam's been back here while I've been working on the garden, trying to find a space behind the pool <laughs> because the grass was so tall and he's getting it done. Turns out that our pool leaked water because there was a plug back here I was supposed to plug up and I did not because I didn't know. So he's gonna do that. Fill this sucker with water again. We're gonna start fresh. You can still hardly see our horses, you guys. People be driving by saying, what are they doing with those horses? Can't even see them. All right, so I'm down here trying to get all this grass from around the pool, and I spy my little partner in crime. Isn't that the most gorgeous partner in crime, though? Like, when we bought our girls puppies this past year, I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that Sam and I would have a partner for life. A dog that wants to be outside with us and wants to be with us. People are saying that Border Collies are designed to stick around. And she has been amazing, you guys. You're such a good puppy. All right, so this is a work in progress, you guys. I got a lot of it done. Huh. But now I'm exhausted and hot. And there's only so much time you can spend outside. In the heat, trying to figure everything out. So that will be here when I get home when I come back to it. some shopping that we absolutely have to do before this before our busy week starts and I wanted to share something really small with you but something so huge because we are on YouTube oftentimes and oftentimes I get messages from young girls and oftentimes they are 
kind and just chatting at first and then very quickly it turns to them telling me about how they have lived such a crazy life and never do they think it's a crazy life but I hear stories of abuse I hear stories of girls being broken down and every shred of self-esteem being stripped from them by the people who are supposed to love them most and it always crushes me and it hurts my heart and it also inspires me to see these young girls living these lives and still being kind and amazing and having so much to give and when I hear these girls and I see them and I get to know them I see only the beauty I told you guys that before I only see the good and that's why a lot of times it's hard for me to understand people who can watch the same video as I watch and only comment bad things because I only see the good I see the growth I see the change I see the development and then I get so struck by the fact that these young girls are still able to maintain so much dignity and kindness no matter what they've been through. And I want to offer you this, this thought for any of you guys who are in a bad place right now with people that are supposed to love you but are unable to love you the way you need. I'm not really great with analogies so hopefully nobody takes offense but you know that puppy out there at the store, at the pet store or at the breeder or at the shelter, the one that nobody wants, the one that is broken down, the one that has been starved, or the one that's deaf and nobody wants, or the one that's blind, or the one that was found out in the woods, left for dead. You know those puppies that are struggling and struggling and have nothing to live for, and then they, and then suddenly somebody will come along, just randomly somebody will come along and change the life for them. Imagine you are that puppy. Imagine that someday, sometime soon, somebody is going to come along and change your world for you. So plan for it and prepare for it and be ready for somebody to come and show you who you really are. Help you see who you really are because there are other people out there like me that only see the good and you are amazing and you are incredible no matter what you've been told. Right, Sam? I'm just not believing that stuff. It's not that he doesn't believe in it, he just doesn't think about it. He just doesn't talk about it. It's just not who he is, but Sam's a good guy and he does see the good. Do you see the good? Sometimes he sees the bad. <laughs> so Sam wants a barbecue for Father's Day. Oh, there's one. And I want to get him a barbecue for Father's Day. Look at this one. Six burner gas grill with side burner. That's cute. Yeah. yeah. Or what's that one? That's got a smoker. We don't need that. That one's cute. We're also looking for new chairs for show season. It's not that comfy, but it's cute. Like, I don't mind it, actually. It folds up nice and small. Do you like it? Yeah. That chair? Yeah. Have a seat there. Yeah, 40 bucks is cheap. We would need four. Let me just see if I can get it. And they have black and blue and red. Oh no, they just have black. Not bad. I like it. Oh. Okay guys, we're going to be checking if we got any eggs. I'll come back once I'm in their coop. All right, let's see if we got any eggs. So, no eggs, but we got chicken. And the other two chickens are down here. Don't notice my dirty feet, you guys. I got garden feet, but I got new flip-flops. Right. <laughs> She's so confused. Hi, girlfriends. Hello. Hello, Pin. She's like, I love you. You'll always be coming, huh? Yeah, you are. Such nice girlies. So we didn't have all the plugs plugged, so the thing emptied. And uh, Sam's going to go and get the chemicals we need to clean this baby out tomorrow. Ladder, up the ladder. <laughs> That's a girl. <laughs> she looked terrified. <laughs> she did look terrified. Hey, that's not for toys. <laughs> oh, you're cold. Good job. Nobody ever shows their pool before it's clean and fresh, but us. She needs a little bit of help getting on the ladder. Come on. 
No, just just to stand there and chill. You know, she's a little bit of help. What a good puppy! Go get it! Go get it! Good job! She can reach because she's like. Our girl likes to swim. Good job! Put her down. I just told her. Let her go. Let her go. You're drowning. Let's let her go. The dogs know how to swim. Aww. She's a fast swimmer. Get her out. Hey, let her stand on her two back feet. There you go. There you go. You're touching. <laughs> That's adorable. That's adorable. When when um when it's fully filled up, I'm gonna get Molly to come and jump on the mat. Yeah, we'll put the mat in there. Molly will jump right up, so Molly can jump right up that ladder and right into the pool. Yeah. Kay. Take it. Take it. Mine was drier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Mine <laughs> Ruby's like, I better run. <laughs> no one's scared of you. Her. She's the opposite. She is than actually than literally than nervous because Sophie's in the pool. You got more black than white. Look, spots she's going to go in there. Look, at, Sophie's got a bathing suit matches her dog. You guys are both Dalmatians. The polar opposite though. Yeah, black with opposites. white spots, white with black spots. Well, brown, but But the ponies are all here and happy near the pool. You guys remember when the boys came running before and were terrified of the pool? Oh my god. She's terrified, mom. I know. So she got zapped by the pool, by the fence again. But she understands that it's the fence now. Before she didn't understand it was the fence. I wish I could pick you up, but you're too heavy. She's like, bring me in with you, Mama. Oh. Don't you know that you're beautiful?